the reaction of metals with water depends upon the reactivity of the metals and when a metal reacts with water it forms metal oxide and hydrogen gases released so we can write that metals when they react with water then metal oxide is formed and hydrogen gas is released now if this metal oxide is soluble in water then this metal oxide will further react with water to form metal hydroxide so we can write that metal oxide plus water it forms metal hydroxide now we we'll look into three things the reaction of metals with cold water the reaction of metals with hot water and the reaction of metals with steam so the first part the reaction of metals with cold water now you see some highly reactive metals like sodium potassium calcium they react with water to form the metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas okay now among these three metals okay in two of the metals that is in sodium and potassium when they react with water then huge amount of heat energy is released so first of all let us look into the reaction of sodium with water now as you can see here that there is a pond and there is a boy who is standing near the pond now this boy throws some pieces of sodium metal in the pond as you can see that as soon as he throw the pieces of sodium metals on the pond explosion takes place now why did this explosion took place because you see when sodium reacts with water a huge amount of heat energy is released and this heat energy is enough for the hydrogen gas which is evolved during this reaction to catch fire so we can write the reaction of sodium with water as na plus h2o gives naoh plus h2 plus heat energy okay so you must have understood the reaction of sodium with water now we will look into the reaction of potassium with water okay so here you can see that there is a plastic container which is containing water now as soon as you put a piece of potassium metal on the water you can see that it catches fire so why did it catch fire because here also you see a heat energy is released that means a huge amount of heat energy is released and this heat energy is enough for the hydrogen gas which is evolved during this reaction to catch fire okay and that is why this potassium metal catches fire when it is put in water so we can write this reaction as k plus h2o gives koh plus h2 plus heat energy